All right, here's a look at this update for my friends out here in the Philippines. Uh, multiple factors and multiple impacts uh, with this storm system, including impacts on Okinawa next week. So I made a separate video on that, but I want to talk about this. You can already see it on satellite imagery. It's that inflow coming behind our tropical depression, and this likely is going to intensify into a typhoon. We'll stay well towards the north and east of the Philippines, but that inflow wrapping it around it is going to be bringing heavy showers across parts of Visayas and eventually into Luzon as well out towards the Cagayan Valley. Right now, though, I mean, it doesn't look terribly uh, organized, but as it does continue to increase in intensity, like the enemy named Infa by JMA, uh, heavy rainfall is going to start to wrap into this. And it, that's all thanks to that moisture inflow, the hanging hahabaga, as you call it in the Philippines. So just call it the enhanced monsoon if you want. Uh, do not expect signal force warnings to be issued out there. Main reason is because you're not going to be seeing those damaging winds. What you will see is that persistent heavy rainfall. We saw this a few years ago with a storm system just off the east coast and that's something if you if you watch the tropics in the western pacific long enough you will see this happen from time to time with that moisture inflow coming in west of luzon across the country there you see this actually by midweek uh just these higher wind bands setting up and that's cruising on through of course that is taking that rainfall and pushing in across the country so the west coast Definitely going to be seeing the heaviest of the showers there in northwestern Luzon, down through Mazilla, Manila, excuse me, uh, and then parts of the Cagayan Valley. And then there are some of those rain totals as well. And you can see this is exactly what I'm talking about with that atmospheric um, river really just setting up the heaviest of the showers on the west coast, that red indicating about 50 to 100 millimeters. Uh, They're all down region one into the NCR and eventually into the Cagayan Valley as well, 50 to 100 millimeters possible in a few locations over the course of the upcoming week. All right, so there's a look at some of the impacts, heavy rain, storm surge, and the wind damage is uh, possible, but I think the heavy rain is the big thing. This is the key thing I want you to take away. There's not really going to be a storm surge or significant winds with this. It's all about the rainfall. So, you know, and I, I want to remind you guys on all these videos, know your information through official sources. Prepare to evacuate if needed. Remember, if signal force warnings aren't issued, doesn't mean you're not going to see impacts as far as heavy rain and the potential for landslides. There's a look at those signal force warnings, but remember, these are for winds. So if you see we're not you, you get what i'm getting at here and this is one thing i do want to stress i just actually talked to uh, a forecaster from agassi the other day and it said that this is one thing that they want to stress too is that you know in these type of scenarios you're not going to see signal force three or four but you still will get the rainfall something you know just keep in the back of your mind you know, I'm sure most of you know that, but that's what we're all about here is providing this information and keeping everybody safe. Also providing information and keeping you guys safe means we've got some new graphics that are going to make things look a lot nicer here coming up pretty soon. Very excited about that, but I'm not excited about uh, the impacts this storm could have. I think some of the farmers really need it in cross parts of uh, Kagayan, so um that will be good news at the very least, but uh, too much rain and, you know, of course, a, a short period of time uh, could be uh, problematic. So, of course, I'll keep you guys posted. As always, thanks for watching. And uh key thing is stay safe out there. All right. Bye.